Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Real Hustle. We've got the boat attached to the Forerunner today and we're heading to Spinney Mountain Reservoir to meet our friend Jesse and search for large trout by fly rod. Stay tuned and please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks guys. It's a 17 foot Carolina skiff with a 50 horsepower four stroke Honda center console. It's got storage under the front deck, a seat with more storage there. The seat for the center console doubles as a cooler, back casting deck, and polling platform for the flats. This boat's got 12 rod holders on it and it's caught a ton of snook, redfish, tarpon, flounder, jack, ladyfish, Spanish mackerel, and much more guys. So. Let's start putting some trout on this boat. So we're here at Spinney, we made it. Before we launch the boat, we'd like to announce the winner of the four piece nine foot St. Croix Mojo fly rod. Cody Rochester of Ontario, Canada. Thank you so much, you are the winner and congratulations. We'll have that in the mail ASAP, so keep an eye on your mailbox. Thank you so much for your support. And that means keep subscribing guys because we're gonna keep doing giveaways. Just because you didn't win this doesn't mean unsubscribe. Keep it going and we're gonna keep giving away to all of our subscribers. So thank you guys for the support. So we did put a new fish finder on this, Garmin UHD 7 inch. And first time. All right guys, so we're out here putting around. We just got both of our fly rods rigged up and we're waiting for our buddy Jesse to arrive. He's about five minutes away. He's right on time. We were just early and his dad I think will be joining us too, which I haven't met him yet. So should be a good day guys, stay tuned. About to throw this thing out and see if a pike's interested. All right guys, so when we're throwing pretty big flies, like a big old pike fly, we're gonna do a water loaded cast. So what this is, I'm gonna get the fly out in front of me, basically let it sit in the water, and when it yanks out, that's gonna create tension and make that big fly go right back. And all it is, is a big old flop over, and this is gonna make casting that big fly a lot easier. That was a fucking pike, dude. Was it? It was right on. Yeah, no, he was on it. This is a double haul. What I'm doing is I'm pulling my arm before I'm casting. This is another great way to cast the pike fly, get it out super far. All right, guys, I got my first hit. Indi indicator dropped. Ooh, it's a, it's a hog. What did it eat? I don't know yet. Like when it gets close, you know, if he wants to burst, let him burst. I haven't figured out exactly what he hit yet. Oh, it's down low. He's coming our way. There he is, guys. Beautiful spinny fish. We're going to go ahead and let him go. Beautiful fish. Another nice fish, guys. There he is. All right, guys, my second fish of the day. It looks like another hog. Took a few good runs. We're just hoping to get him in the net. Nice fish. Another solid fish, Spinny Mountain really provides. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. 
go ahead and get him back in the water. Solid one. Here, I'll get a slow mo on the release. Absolute beauty. All right, guys, so we're back in the water. See if we can get some more for you. We're on again, guys. It's got drilled. Can't tell what the size of the fish is yet. Probably pretty solid. He's staying low. Is that a pike? What? Is that a pike? That would be cool. I think you got a pike on me. Jesse thinks it might be a pike or a really dark trout. Then he's railing it. Nice. Thanks for coming over here. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Jesse, King Calabas. All right, guys, I just got spanked again. I'm on the five weight this time, guys. Just tied another rig on. And he's in the net, guys. Another beautiful spinny mountain fish, guys. Take a look at that big old buckaroo. And go ahead and let him go. No wind, super, super hot. Calabatus all over us. Could use a little breeze. All right, guys, I just got spanked again. Another carotamid fish. He doesn't really know he's hooked yet. Now he's starting to figure it out. Yep, he's figuring it out, guys. Look at that. Nice fish. Real hustle. Oh, I'm wrapped up a little weird. Like, yeah, rolled on it. Mm -hmm. There he is, guys. Another beautiful, beautiful spinny fish. Another solid one. Check him out, guys. Another solid, just tank. Here he goes, guys. All right, so we put on some dry flies because we're seeing some action up top. We're getting a little bit of rain right now. This is what you call dedication. All right, guys, with this weather, we decided to bail. It was a tough day. I had some really good fishermen on the boat, and they had some hookups, they had some break-offs. It was just a difficult day. I actually lucked out, kind of had the lucky draw. I ended up landing four really nice fish, 22 to 24 inch range, all five and six pounders. Beautiful fish here. We're getting ready to go set up camp, so don't go anywhere, because this episode is not over, and I'll give you a proper outro at the end of the night. We're gonna cook, we're gonna do some, fun family time, so stay tuned.
All right, guys, the sun just popped out and I see my wife turning in. She's coming in the van. The van's all prepped for camping. Those two will sleep in the van and I'll hit a tent again. Zebras, South Park zebras. Yeah. So you got that seat to go forward. You figured that out. First time honeys drove the van. All right guys, so we're just kind of unpacking the van, setting some chairs, getting the table set up with some food and cooking preparations. I'm getting ready to pop the tent next. I haven't been bit by nothing. You know, that's the sweet blood. That's that sweet mesquite. Kodak, what do you think about the campsite? It's great. I love it. Couldn't be more comfortable in the dirt. What you got going there, Smokey? Figures. So this was the prime rib one. Doubling down. Mm-hmm. Catch him on there. We're talking big, guys. What'd you guys think? Mm. Ten out of ten. Delicious. How do you like your marshmallows? I like mine burnt. <laughs> They taste really good. Oh my god, that's really bright. Alright, love you guys. Sleep tight. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, we just got comfortable in our tent and we're going to call this episode here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Real Hustle, Spinny Mountain Reservoir on my boat. It was a great time. I ended up landing four really nice fish, all rainbows and cut bows, 22 to 24 inches between five and seven pounds. Really stoked on those fish. I had a great time and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Nonetheless, we'll see you in a couple days for another episode of Real Hustle.